Okay, so you guys did a great job moving the robot forward five rotations. Now, you might be thinking, well, how do I get it to back up? Let's say I want it to come back. How do I, how do, I do that? So you might be over here, and you might be checking out this steering, and it looks like it's driving forward, so that would be kind of a good place to start is to think like, oh, yeah, we may have to just turn it. But that's not the way we want to do it because this is actually just steering it. It's going to turn it right, left. It's going to make it spin in a circle. What we want is we want it to just back up. We want it to come right back to where we started. So the interesting thing is over here in our power, we're going to click on this. So you see here we've got 75. We have this little sliding scale. So this is actually when we go to zero, it's kind of for us to stand still, not do anything. And then if we bring it down, this is actually going to bring us into what looks like the negatives. And it looks like, well, how do you go negative power? This is actually reverse. This will actually have it go backwards. So what I want to do is just set it at negative 75. I can either do it by dragging this little sliding bar down, or I can actually just come in and I can type in here. So I can type in negative 75, hit return, and that will set it as well. All right, so let's go ahead and let's uh, download this one. So let me plug in my robot again. We'll see over here that it will turn red, and I'm going to go ahead and hit download and get that good noise that tells me that it's saved. And then I'm going to go ahead and run it, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I just downloaded the program. On my program, it's still called Project and Program, and I just used the same one that I used before. So on my robot, it's still going to be that same one. It's going to say Project and program. So I'm going to click on the one that says project. I'm going to come down to program and I'm going to put that one down. Now if you remember last time it drove forward if we did it right it should drive backwards. And, and sure enough it did.